In this video, we'll be discussing about the top 5 vaccines for COVID-19 as of now in January 2022, when we are currently going through the Omicron variant. You can consider this an updated video for the already available video on top vaccines for COVID-19 on our channel. So first of all, let's see what vaccines have made to our list and what are the different parameters that we need to know for the vaccine efficacy, especially for the Omicron variant. Keep in mind, we are not ranking the vaccines. We are just going to put out the top vaccines here that are currently being administrated globally. First of all, let's see the mRNA vaccines. The first one is the Pfizer vaccine, administrated in two doses. And then we have Moderna vaccine, which is also the mRNA vaccine. It's administrated in two doses also. Both vaccines are performing well for all the variants out there, including the Delta variant. But if we talk about the Omicron variant, the efficacy comes down to below 50%. And remember, this efficacy never shoots above 50% for all the top vaccines out there. So all vaccines that we are going to list here have less efficacy against Omicron variant and mostly drops down below 50%. Then we have the third vaccine, that is the AstraZeneca or Covishield vaccine, which uses chimpanzee adenovirus as a vector. It also performs well for all the variants, but efficacy for Omicron variant drops below 50% or even 40% below. Then we have the Sputnik vaccine, that's modified adenovirus vaccine. Like all other vaccines, its efficacy also drops down below 50% against the Omicron variant. Then we have the Sinopharm vaccine, which is the inactivated type vaccine. Sinopharm has named their vaccine as BBIPCORV vaccine. This vaccine was not performing well for Omicron variant as well. And that's why we got NVSI0607 vaccine from Sinopharm as a heterologue boost for previous Sinopharm vaccine. So now currently we are having two different vaccines from Sinopharm. One is the BBIPCORV vaccine. Second is the NVSI0607 vaccine. So after taking the heterologue boost in the form of NVSI0607 vaccine from Sinopharm, it performs well for Omicron variant and provides great response in the form of neutralizing antibodies. So these are the top performing vaccines as of now. But one important vaccine I have to mention here is the Novavax vaccine. It's a protein-based vaccine that has some efficacy against Omicron variant, but the data is not fully available yet. That's why we have not included in our list. Now, as we know, the efficacy for all these vaccines is below 50% against Omicron variant. But this efficacy further declines by or after 10 weeks. That means after 10 weeks, the efficacy drops significantly, even below 30%. So we can say we are almost no longer protected after 10 to 12 weeks from Omicron variant. That's why nowadays booster dose is necessary for the protection from newly mutated SARS-CoV-2 virus, which is the Omicron variant. But it must be noted here, this um, booster dose also provides only immediate effect and this efficacy vans too even after giving booster doses. If we see currently we have been doing homologs prime boost vaccination. Like we administrate AstraZeneca as a first dose, then we administrate AstraZeneca as a second dose too to complete the vaccination. And furthermore, if we need another dose, that is the booster dose, we get the same AstraZeneca as third dose also. Now, according to data available for its efficacy, when we get the homologs prime boost vaccination of AstraZeneca for its first two doses, then in between 5 to 9 weeks, we have 37% efficacy against Omicron variant. In between 10 to 14 weeks, we have 30% efficacy. And in between 15 to 19 weeks, we have only 5% efficacy against Omicron variant. So in order to recover the efficacy again, we use booster doses. And after that, the efficacy shoots to 30%. But this efficacy wanes after 10 weeks too, under homologs program. So furthermore, when we alter the booster dose to different vaccine other than AstraZeneca, like we use mRNA vaccine as a booster dose in the form of Pfizer vaccine, that time the efficacy recovers greatly against Omicron variant. We see 50% efficacy for first week, 60% efficacy in between 2 to 4 week, 45% efficacy in between 5 to 9 week, 30% efficacy by 10th week. And um, if we compare it with homologous booster shot of AstraZeneca, 
where we get only 30% efficacy initially and then it declines. But here in case of mix and match strategy, we get higher efficacy rates. And this type of vaccination where we get two different types of vaccines targeting the same pathogen is the heterolog prime boost vaccination or simply heterolog vaccination. In the same way, we have the Sinopharm vaccine where we get first two doses of BBIPCORV vaccine by Sinopharm. But the efficacy drops against Omicron variant. And even if we go for booster dose with BBIPCORV vaccine, the efficacy doesn't show promising results. That's why Sinopharm has come up with booster dose of NVSI0607 vaccine, which makes the vaccination as a heterolog vaccination. And the efficacy rises above 50% in that case. So we can say the efficacy for all the vaccines can rise above 50% or even 60% when we go for heterolog booster vaccination. That means if you have got two doses of AstraZeneca vaccine, then the third dose must be from mRNA based vaccines. And this has been proven in studies and research also where mix and match vaccination have been more effective for all the variants out there including the Omicron variant. So even you can go for mix and match for two different vaccines. Like first vaccine is inactivated type vaccine and second vaccine is mRNA based vaccine or vice versa. The studies and research papers which I have used for this information have been linked in the description. So the outcome of these studies is that all vaccines out there have less efficacy against Omicron variant in homologs vaccination program. Third point is that the vaccination done under heterolog conditions shoots efficacy above 50%. That's mix and match strategy. And finally, we can say natural infection to Omicron is the only way which can provide highest immunity from further infections after recovering. But it must be noted here, if you are vaccinated and got infected by Omicron variant, that time antibody response will be more pronounced in vaccinated people than the non-vaccinated people. So these are the top vaccines that are currently being administrated globally. Now let's see the studies and research papers that I have used in this video. For mRNA based vaccines and AstraZeneca data, we have used information from UK Health Agency. We also have used information from Public Health Ontario that's from Canada. And for Sinopharm vaccine and its heterolog dose, we have used research from UAE and China under the title Safety and Immunogenicity of a Heterolog Boost with a Recombinant Vaccine NVSI0607 in the inactivated vaccine recipients from UAE. So this is all about top 5 vaccines for Omicron and the heterolog boost vaccination strategy. I hope you like the video. If you liked, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting me work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.